Guarantor home loans are incredibly popular these days, but what do you do when you want to remove the guarantor? Today, we're going to take you through how to actually do that, what it looks like, and the steps you need to go through to cut ties with your guarantor. So Nathan, first up, how long does the guarantor actually stay on the mortgage? Usually we find the guarantee stays anywhere from two to about five years, depending on a couple things. The first one is how quickly you pay down the loan. The second is how quickly your property increases in value. So when we get to that point where it makes sense, usually when we're lending no more than 80% of the property value, we look to remove that guarantor and free your folks or your parents or your grandparents or whoever it was that was on the property to assist you with the guarantee away from it. Hmm. Okay. So typically though, by default, they won't get removed automatically. So you need to actually go through that process. So Nathan, what are the steps of removing the guarantee if you've got a 90% loan or you've only got say 10% equity in your home? If there's less than 20% equity, you will have to pay what we call lender's mortgage insurance. So it's a one-off premium. It is charged by the lender to protect the lender and is compulsory. There are some circumstances where you can have it removed. However, if you are lending over 80%, you would pay lender's mortgage insurance. Once off, added to the loan, covers you for the life of the loan. And in some circumstances, you may have to remove it and pay that, which is the cost of removing the guarantee. Um, but if it has to happen, it has to happen. Yeah, so you could be in a situation where your parents might have sold their home and they want that money back. Or there could be other situations that you might have to go through. So potentially doing that refinance, like Nathan said, where you've got about 10% equity, or say you've got a million dollar property, which is, I'm just using it because easy numbers, and you owe $900,000 on it, it's one way of removing your parents' house or the guarantor's house, so you're free and easy. But generally, if you're doing it at that 90%, you might need to look at an internal refinance with that bank. Nathan, what happens if you want to remove the guarantee at an 80% LBR, or if you have 20% equity in your own home? So remember, every time you look to remove the guarantee, you are doing an application with the lender. So they're going to assess you based on your income as of application date. They'll look at the property value as of application date. So they'll do the assessments. They'll look at everything as of today. So you're starting at day one, basically. You are starting again. You need to do a brand new application. Um, and also, you'd be quoted fresh fees, charges, everything that's associated with a brand new mortgage you'd start again. The good thing is you'd remove the guarantees off so it gives them a fresh, a, a breath of fresh air They can move on and you can move forward with your property on your own. Well, I guess the three things that are good about removing the guarantee when you've got a 20% deposit are number one, you avoid lenders mortgage insurance because you've got the 20% equity in there. Hooray, you missed that, which could be thousands of dollars. Number two is because you've got more equity in the loan and you've got you know, a high deposit, you've got that 80% loan, your interest rate could be lower than if you're removing it at 90%. And number three is that it can actually simplify the process. So usually if you have less than a 20% deposit or less than 20% equity, the bank is going to ask you a lot more questions because you're actually seeing as higher risk to them compared to someone that has a 20% deposit. So doing it that way can be a great way to really fast track that, get you on better rates and actually get you separated from that parents of the guarantees loan so you can stand on your own two feet again. So Nathan, a couple of curveball questions because they're, why not? Can my guarantor sell their home? They can. Now, keep in mind that there is a second mortgage registered on their property. So when they sell their home, that second mortgage either needs to be paid out by the guarantor or you'll need to refinance your property so that you can add that second mortgage back onto your property. One quick thing there is you do need equity in your property. So if you just set up the guarantor and they're selling their property, you might not have enough equity in, in your exact property that you're looking to refinance it on. Another quick question removing the guarantee from a guarantor home loan is is, can I sell my house? Absolutely. I've got a guarantor. You can indeed. Once again, remembering, if you have lent 100% of the purchase price and you undersell your property, you're going to have a residual leftover and that will be left on the guarantees property. So you just want to make sure if you are selling, you cover the full debt. So I guess, Nathan, let's round it off. The guarantor stays on your mortgage by default forever while you've got that loan until you want to remove it. You can remove it if you've got a little bit of equity. The easiest way is obviously paying it down quicker. Um, any other tips that you have in this sort of structure? Yeah, that's, as you said before, you have to refinance your loan to remove the guarantee. So it will not be removed automatically. Generally, the best rule of thumb after two 
to about five years, your loan will have gone down. Your property should have increased in value, fingers crossed. And that's a good time to revisit it and try and remove the guarantee. If you want more uh, information on guarantor home loans or removing a guarantor, check out our website at huntergalloway.com.au.